like movie trailers was mm-hmm. my passion. Movie marketing was my passion. But in other countries, there's no way you can do that, right? So I decided, like, I want to do something around movies, like movie marketing, movies. And I never liked IMDb. I never liked Fandango. I never liked Flickster. I said, and that time, social networks was sort of hot. And like I said, why I cannot build a social network around upcoming movies, not the old movies, but upcoming movies, because where Hollywood spends their most money is on upcoming movies. Like if there's an Avenger coming, they are sending $200 million to market that movie. Or if there's a movie that they are making for $100 million, they are spending another $100 million to market that movie. Mm -hmm. So I decided, okay, I want to do something around movies. And I was nobody in Silicon Valley. Still, I am nobody, but like I was really nobody. Then uh, my friend told me I have to go to Founder Institute. And then I find that there was another Turkish person, Aram Bali. I reach out to him wow. and he referenced me to uh, Founder Institute. He said, you have to go to Founder Institute. And if you're going to do something related to movies, you need to find an American co-founder. And actually, at that time, I, with very weird luck, I find my co-founder, she's from Yale University and very, very good founder that we started this idea, make this idea prettier. But I never forgot what she told me, Shine, like you never been to LA. Like you have no connection to LA. Like you don't know anybody in LA and you cannot even speak English. <laughs> I think about yeah. this 10 years ago. So uh, like there's no way you will be successful. I said, fine, but I will still want to do it. And then, oh boy, like we cooperated Movie Lala. We had amazing investors like CF of Disney, Felixster Investor, Mark Benioff, at the Salesforce CEO, uh, one of the uh-huh. biggest names in Bay Area. We have like ex president of HBO, American Online, amazing investors because everyone knows this is a huge problem and we might be the right solution for it. And then we had. At the end of four years, I did that business for a very long time. We reached like millions of downloads, but I realized that Silicon Valley top tier VCs really don't like entertainment companies because they invest in so. Because it's not for them. They think it's um, for for them. It is very enterprise, very siloed, mm-hmm. very. Uh, LA driven, like you really need to be in the LA scene to be successful there. And they are not very like, you know, they are so innovative and smart in marketing, but that idea comes from the ad agencies. Like it's nearly impossible for a tech company going there and getting ads dollar if you are not Facebook Twitter. Okay. It's mm-hmm. like nearly impossible. And they are so demanding. So what we did, an unbelievable technology, we patented this technology, actually. We did a patent pending. Uh, it was, when you watch a movie trailer, at the end of the movie trailer, you see a black screen, right? This was like eight years ago. Now it's YouTube boxes. Now it's okay. Mm. But we built a call to action at the end of the black screen saying that follow Brad Pitt, get me, get notified if there's a movie trailer, get notified when the movie is out, get notified when you can buy tickets. Nobody built this call to action technology. So we built this call to action technology in our app on also uh, movie studios websites. So when you go to movie video website like Terminator, like we had our video player there. And that was a huge success because we end up working with Terminator, Mission Impossible, La La Land, and a lot of movies like the Power Rangers. Wow. And it was a huge success. And we were charging them. We, like, we were making money. But uh, we couldn't make Silicon Valley investors after seed to believe that this is a Series A company. And mm-hmm. uh, so we had a, a partnership with Tango, the chat app. We were running their uh, thing. And there was someone in Tango become the CEO of GiffyCat. And we, he bought our Movie Lala. GiffyCat bought our company, Movie Lala. Um, and then we actually exit to GiffyCat. And then they use that GIF technology and movie marketing technology and get some movie deals out of it. Yeah. And then they sold cool. it to another big company, but they didn't make it public yet. So indirectly, so, I sold it to a big company. 